I think this is Marcha's box. I think. I'm pretty sure it is. But anyway, let's open it up and see what's inside. Like we always do. All right. All right. Put that aside. Here is the sticker. When my goddamn camera is gonna focus. For some reason, my camera is not focusing. Hello? Oh, there we go. So there you go, that's the sticker. Look at it. Textured. All right, so we have, uh, what the hell? Or Wally's bra. What? Highland Toffee Tuba. Okay. I've never heard of this, so I'm curious to try that, but I am not gonna eat it now. We have a Copic multi-liner in the 0.3 in black. And it is a uh, typical 0.3 size. We have a Lyra Rembrandt polycolor in the color dark violet. Don't mind that purple. We have a Koi Noa Heart Hard Hard <laughs> I don't know how you say that. Uh, it's a 3B, and I'm not even going to pronounce the rest of it. Oh my lord, what do we have here? They're not brush nib. We got a Marabou graphics sketch marker. We have my color scheme here. We've got all the grays. We got warm and cool grays in this pack. Wow. So we have the scroller zine, which I'll have a look at in a minute. Oh, wow. Here we go. That is the featured artist's artwork right there. I do like that. See, I, I, I like this sort of, you know, illustration. So we got created by Im Imri. Imri, is that how you say it? I'm not sure. I'll probably butchered the shit out of that name. So that's where you can see their stuff if you're interested in this artwork. And we have an A5 scroller box branded white card, which is 250 GSM and it's smooth. Oh yeah, not bad. Oh, it's a dude. So there's some more of their art. It's a pretty cool. So they're an alpha robot set these markers oh that's pretty cool and they're alcohol based low odor i don't mind the smell of the alcohol markers and oh cool so this is the scroller challenge bionic being a robot cool i don't mind i like drawing robots i like drawing cyborgy type stuff so this should be fun, as long as I don't screw it up. All right, let's swatch everything like we do. We'll do the usual 3B pencil. I like this purple. Yep, I do. It's a very witchy purple. 0.3. Okay, I think. Can we write over that? Oh yeah. Not that I'm going to because I'll probably do the line art first. All right, let's bust out these. Let's see what we have. So obviously the chisel nib on one end and oh low odor my ass i just got a good whiff then and yeah they're just the old bullet nib on the other end so um wait are we doing these in what order did i just pull these out from
Oh, I love these colors. I really, really do. And purple goes so well with a gray. Now, I both like the cool and the warm grays. They both have their own individual charm with what you can do with them. So I, I really do like this this is this is going to be very exciting so um look i have a lot of monster cyborg sketches in my sketchbook so i've got a, an abundance to pick from so i might just go through that list and then sort of just see um you know where i you know what i want to do and then uh, i'll get back to you and i'll show you what i'm gonna draw so i must admit this box was probably like one of one of my favorites that i've had in recent times like it was an enjoyable box it's something that um i liked it to play with because if i don't like doing well if i don't want to do my watercolors i go to uh alcohol markers or ink or something like that so uh yeah no, i i did enjoy this box i enjoyed the colors and everything in it just also want to say that this is my fourth last scrawler box um june will be my last scrawler box um i have cancelled the subscription purely because i can't really afford um uh, you know paying for the subscription anymore um uh, we're just making some cuts uh because life uh in australia has uh has gotten a little bit harder I must admit, it is uh, uh, cost of living is going through the roof, and I'm pretty sure it's happening everywhere. Um, let me know if it is. Um, so yeah, scroller box is something that I've had to cut from the budget, along with a few other things uh, that is not essential right now until um, you know, until maybe one time, you know, one day in the future, I can, you know revisit it but um i think that if i do decide that i'm going to go back to another one of these subscription boxes i would really like to try upcrate so i don't know i don't know yet it's um something i don't want to think about i just want to save some money at the moment and uh yeah i've had to can scroll a box so yeah fourth last box um i've got at the moment i've got two others and i'm waiting for june to touch base and then she's all over and i'm just going through all the scroller boxes because um i haven't had much time to sit down with the scroller boxes and that's another reason too why i have um canned the subscription because um it's something that i've been pushing back and pushing back and also i'm not getting the scroller boxes for ages like they're just taking forever to get to me so yeah sort of you know bye for now <laughs> um but yeah i um i have i did enjoy this box and then when i get enjoyable boxes like this it sort of makes me wonder why i'm cancelling it but then i think about my um my bank account <laughs> but yeah this was a really fun one um i just was i was sort of gonna go with a cyborg type uh, creature but i just sort of went with more just pure robot that has been discarded and abandoned and abused and is just um, sitting there broken with some of his uh, limbs missing with a, uh, a pick through his um, or ice pick whatever you want to call it through his head uh, bits and pieces of him are scuffed he's just hanging by a wooden pole that's going straight through his body and um yeah he's got an axe in his hand so maybe this particular robot was a bad robot and he was going around hurting people with the axe because the axe has got a few you know bits of goopy um black stains on it and um this was the robot's punishment maybe yeah um yeah other than the fact that i did have fun with this box uh i have worked with better alcohol markers uh they weren't something that i was overly you know doing backflips about um definitely definitely uh I, I wouldn't buy these i wouldn't go out of my way to buy these that's for sure um because i've i've had better 
that's all I've got to say, really. Um, but the colours were good. Um, I did enjoy it. I'm not hugely experienced with alcohol markers, so um, yeah, I, I don't um, do don't use them a lot. I don't use them as much as I would like to. But I thought, oh, I didn't really want to go in and um, do a lot of like blending out and shading and and um, just sort of blending the shading out. I just went straight in with blocky shading and um yeah just didn't worry about the blending and and um you know gradients into another color um i just went with the sharper um looking um shadowing but yeah um that's all i've really got to say about this um uh, sorry for not doing any of this live like usually like i do um, these sort of particular paintings in uh, paintings, drawings, whatever they are, in real time? Um, yeah, just time. <laughs> time is my enemy at the moment as well. So I'm just trying to cut down on time, and it's just easier for me to edit these when they are speed paints and just do the voiceovers other than sitting down and going through real-time footage um, so yeah the rest of my scroller videos will be like this until i catch up um, but then by the time i catch up it's probably going to be the uh time that i do my last scroller box so anyway um that is it from me um hopefully you enjoyed uh this video and enjoyed uh watching me come up with what i did and if you want your own scroller box i'll have a link down in the description below and i'll see you guys in the next one bye